module 13 project monitoring using unvalue concept now say if you have a project with a duration of 10 days and estimated cost of 40000 and the bid at which project was awarded is 45000 and penalty for per day late completion is rupees 1000 so the profit margin over here is rupees 5000 now the bcws which is known as budgeted cost of work scheduled say at the end of the third day will be rupees 12000 adds it is rupees 4000 per day which we can see over here now say if at the end of third day it is found that only 25 percent of the work is completed and the actual cost incurred is say 11000 so 25000 of 25 percent of 40000 is say INR 10000 which is known as budgeted cost of work performed while actual cost incurred that is actual cost of work performed is say rupees 11000 so we have an index known as cost performance index which is budgeted cost of work performed divided by actual cost of work performed so that is 10000 by 11000 which comes out to be 0 0.91 if cpi is equals to 1 the project is said to be okay if it's less than 1 we can say the project is over budget and if its cpi is greater than 1 it is under budget so in this case it is over the budget so now let's forecast at what cost the project would be completed to forecast the cost if we have a formula forecast cost is equals to plan cost upon cpi so that is 40000 upon 0.91 it's approximately equal to 44,000 thereby reducing our profit margin from 5,000 to 1,000 now we have another index which is also known as schedule performance index which gives us detail about the schedule so according to the formula schedule performance index is equals to basic cost of work performed by budgeted cost of work schedule is that is 10,000 by 12,000 which comes out approximately equals to 0 0.83 Similarly as CPI if it's equal to 1 it is okay if it's less than 1 it's behind the schedule and if it's greater than 1 it's ahead of the schedule So here it's behind the schedule So now let's forecast the duration of completion. So the planned duration upon SPI gives us a forecast duration which is 10 divided by 0 0.83 which gives us a number that is 12 days Now let's do the very same thing in Microsoft Project 2010. So to begin with, we'll first of all first of all insert a task name say A, which has a duration of 10 days, and make it an auto schedule using macro that we created recently. Once done, we would be required to add the resource. So let's go into view resource sheet. Say we have resource M having a maximum value of 18 and rate is 400 rupees per day. And then just then we will go to the Gantt chart view, double click over here and add the resource that is M having units 10 and click on OK. And to simplify the work, we will make it the working time to be all 7 days a week. So go on to work weeks, details, select off the days as you all know, set specific time and click on OK. So all 7 days of the week are now working and we have a project which lasts for 10 days. Then we need to click on over here in the project menu that is set baseline and set baseline make sure that you have selected entire project over here and click on ok now go on to the add new column and select baseline cost so the cost of the project for the 10 day comes out to be 40,000 as we already know now before starting to work further make sure that you do this go on to the file menu go on to options schedule over here scroll down and go on to this part calculation options for this project and make sure that you have deselected the third option that is actual costs are always calculated by project after doing this click on ok please don't forget to do this now after doing this let's set the status date status date is the date at the end of which you would like to know the status of the project let us say we want to know the status of the project at the third day end of the third day so being start date being 27th October 2013 we would set status date as say 29th because it's the third day and press ok once done this much go on to the view menu over here and over here on the tables go on to more tables and select 
earned value cost indicators and press apply so after doing this you can see we have got columns such as cpi bcws pcwp now in order to work further we need to go on to the add column and add a column name actual cost and actual cost as you all know that is 11000 so we'll enter 11000 over here then we need to further go ahead and add another column which is known as percentage work complete which we also know is 25 percent so once you enter this value you can see the cpi comes out to be 0.91 which is exactly the same that we saw in the project and now if you want to find spi go on over here add column spi and you can see that it's 0.83 that's also similar as that we got in the previous part so now if you want to find out or we want to focus the duration so in order to focus the duration that is we have the formula and duration by spi so we will go on to add a new column say cost one go over here custom fills formula and we would add over here duration duration divided by we'll go on to the cost and put spi and click on ok okay okay so here you can see it's actually coming in rupees but spi is for the schedule so that's the mistake many people commonly make so make sure that you don't do that you need to add a duration column over here instead of a cost so go on to this part add new column select say duration 2 go on to custom fills say we want to give it name as a forecast duration go on to formula filled duration duration divided by filled cost here we would be having spi and click on ok 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 so now we can see over here the forecast duration comes out to be 12 days exactly as it we had seen in the manual example so this is all about working with project monitoring using earned value concept in microsoft project 2010